Hey Sam, I guess uh, it is for you and Jerk. I mean, yeah. what's kind of the buzz around around this team heading into SEC play? I mean, I know y'all gotten a bunch of uh, nice, impressive wins going into it. What's kind of the buzz around the locker room heading into it? Where do you think the program's at? Yeah, no, it's good vibes. I mean, first of all, just congratulations to all the players who are winning weekly awards. But again, they're week winning weekly awards because they're part of a special team. And I think that's where me and Jerk, we were just talking and coming down here. It's just, it's just, it's just fun, and that's how basketball should be. But at the same same time, we have a competitive spirit about us that we're trying to achieve goals. Uh, we're happy with what happened in the non-conference. Would I like to be undefeated right now? Heck yeah. But also think adversity is good, all right. And for so many different circumstances to be thrown at us, injuries, kids having to find new roles. Uh, it only prepares us for what could possibly come down the line, where some teams, they haven't faced adversity. So we learned a lot about ourselves, and then obviously we know how hard the SEC is. Uh, and that's one thing I wanted to talk about too, is even though we might not have a lot of top 25 teams right now in the SEC, uh, this conference is still tough. You look at Tennessee, who's getting Rakia Jackson back. You look at us, we don't lose that one week, but we lost two starters. I think we probably rank top 15 in the country right now. Um, Vanderbilt, the most improved team in the country. You look at their net jump. So uh, we know how hard this is going to be, and obviously all our focus right now is on Vanderbilt. You talked about the players of the week, and you get three of them in a row, and they're all different players. So that's, I mean, just speak on how special that is to have three straight weeks of that, but also it be a different player every every week, and also – you know, Near got freshman of the week today too, so it's technically four of them. Yeah, no, I think it's culture. You know, that's one thing. I appreciate Jerk. You know, Jerk was somebody here before me, and uh, her leadership and what she stands for and the effort she brings every day in practice. Like I told y'all, she's a dog. And so when you have a bunch of dogs who get after it, iron sharpens iron, and I think that's what you're seeing. You know, I got, you know, just to let y'all know too, I got Miss November here, <laughs> Miss December, but I got a new announcement for y'all. Oh, Are they ready for this jerk? Are they ready? <laughs> headband jerk for January. Oh, <laughs> Yes, headband jerk. So we're going up another level, right? We, we both decided on the way down, if the headband don't work, we'll throw it off during the game. <laughs> I think, uh, as you know, she's one of the best players in the country. And again, we're having fun, but our teammates are too. So back to your question originally, there's just a culture that is exciting and uh, it's a fun time to be a Bulldog. Ben, uh, Drakela, as one of the veteran leaders on this team, uh, what's it meant uh, to you and some of the other leaders to have uh, three transfers come in who have all you know, added their own sort of unique uh, game and style of play to this group? Um. You know, like Coach Sam says, it's more of a team thing, but also knowing that, you know, um, every night can be anybody's night. Um, there's not just like a simple scout. There's not just a one-man team. You know, somebody can be a third on the floor. Um, so it's not just one player you have to focus on. Like we have bigs like Jessica Carter, Aaron Barnum, or we have shooters like, you know, Darion Rogers, Debrisha, and point guard. Just, just an all-around explosive like threat. So it's just something that helps us going into the SEC, like knowing – you know, we have counters for their counters, so. And then, Coach, you, you called Vanderbilt the most improved team in the country. Uh, yeah. You know, it's you know, hard to argue with that. What, what, what challenges are they going to present on Thursday? Ooh, a lot. I just have so much respect for Shea. Obviously, you know, she was as an assistant. She knows what winning looks like. She won multiple national championships there at UConn. She has a DNA about her that's impressive. I even thought they were impressive last year with all the injuries. They weren't just a roll out the ball easy win. She had them fighting and competitive, and now the scary part, she's healthy. She's added two McDonald High School All-Americans to her roster that are college transfers. Uh, they're top 16 in the country in steals, uh, and uh, Cambridge is one of the best players in the SEC. So, uh, we, you know, we know we got to work at cutout. I know for us, I'm excited about our non-conference schedule because there's certain things that they do that we've seen this year. They remind me of Memphis, um, but at the same time, I think they're the best team that we've played on our schedule at this point. Um, and we've played a lot of really good teams. So there's no better uh, formula for us than playing at home to open up conference play. And that's why I'm challenging all our fans that don't look at this as Vanderbilt of the old, look at this as Vanderbilt of the new, and, and, and that we only play each other once in regular season. So when you look later down the line for NCAA seeding or who gets in the tournament, I think bracketology has us as a nine and they're 11 with today's, uh, you know, 
preseed, you know, bracketology by my man Charlie Cream coming out with his predictability. So this is an NCAA tournament game to open up conference play. Robbie. Jared, I mean, you were on last year's team, obviously, and pretty similar as far as a record standpoint is concerned, but does it feel different going into conference play this year uh, with the team you have this year compared to last year? And what's your thoughts on kind of where y'all are right now? Um, like Coach Sam said, I would just say the adversity helped us. I know for sure on our, like Memphis to Colorado trip, you'll go around playing the song called Bounce Back. Um, basically just saying like, no matter what we face, uh, this team just basically overcame it all, and we just go by just three saying punchline growth. So I think where we're at, um, going to test is a, we're in a great spot, but just focusing on one game at a time and just learning from each game. Any more questions?